Uh, hi everyone, I'm Cenk Kursoy uh, from the EECS department and my research group uh, has been working, on in the, uh, working in the broad area of wireless communications and uh, networking and I'll try to uh, give a brief overview. Uh, so wireless has grown significantly over the years and we are indeed living in a wireless world. The numbers and the statistics are really astonishing and some of them are listed in this slide, on this slide. So there were for instance 4.3 billion global mobile users in 2014 and it's expected that this number is going to grow to 5.2 billion users by 2019. Uh, the global mobile data grew by 69% in 2014 and now uh, reached uh, 2.5 exabytes, 10 to the 18 bytes uh, per month and al although my talk is about wireless, this also, this, uh, these numbers also fit into the today's theme of big data. Um, almost half a billion uh, mobile devices and connections were added in, in 2014 and it's expected that there will be 11 billion mobile connected devices by 2019. And of this growth, a significant portion is due to multimedia. For instance, global, mob uh, global uh, mobile video uh, traffic is now 55% more than half of the entire uh, uh, data traffic and it's expected to grow even further and reach 72% more than two-thirds of the, uh, the mobile data traffic by 2019. So in this phenomenal growth of course there are many technical wireless challenges that we have to deal with. First of all wireless medium is a time varying open shared broadcast medium and that brings us uh, concerns regarding interference management wireless security but on top of these concerns uh, resources such as energy and bandwidth are generally limited and we have to make uh, efficient use of them. Uh, and it's exponential growth in the uh, mobile data is not helping us. This exponential growth in data multimedia content is straining the, these limited so resources even further. And, it's, and because of that we are now experiencing a spectrum crunch, spectrum deficit. So we don't have, the in, in, we don't have enough bandwidth to support all these applications and services. And the energy consumption and uh, the carbon footprint of wireless services are growing. And our research is addressing these uh, challenges and it can, be broken into, it can be broken into three areas. The first one is green wireless communication. So as I have mentioned, due to limited energy available for mobile units, uh, rising energy costs, environmental concerns, uh, energy efficiency is a critical concern in wireless communication systems and we are investigating var various wireless communication, energy efficient wireless communication strategies. So we are studying energy efficient wireless transmission schemes, energy efficient resource allocation strategies, power control policies, networking protocols. And in addition to that we are interested in energy harvesting techniques. So. Uh, uh, a wireless power transfer, uh, RF energy harvesting and wireless power networks. Our second area is addressing the spectrum deficit problem. We are studying cognitive radius and millimeter wave uh, systems. So the prime portion of the radio spectrum between 30 megahertz to 3 gigahertz has already been allocated to wi various wireless applications and services as we see on the right hand side the United States frequency allocation chart where different colors represent different applications. But of course this wireless growth is leading to this, uh, the spectrum scarcity problem and we are addressing this problem by uh, looking at cognitive radios to overcome the spectrum underutilization issue. And we are also interested in moving to less explored, less utilized higher frequency bands, the millimeter wave band for instance between 30 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz. The final area is the multimedia over wireless networks area that we are working on. As we have seen, multimedia is the driving force behind the, the significant growth that we are experiencing but, uh, due to applications involving voice over IP, uh, video streaming, interactive video teleconferencing, and uh, online gaming. But this multimedia traffic requires certain quality of service guarantees. Certain quality is expected for the received multimedia content and service de cer uh, certain delay guarantees are required, especially for real-time applications. So we take into account the randomness of the, the multimedia traffic and investigate the throughput under statistical buffer and uh, delay constraints. We also design multimedia receivers and the transmitters uh, and uh, look at the performance, study the performance of the, the multimedia system and look at the quality of the received images and, and videos. And we also determine efficient resource allocation strategies to maximize the performance, to improve the quality of the received multimedia content and uh, satisfy certain uh, quality of service requirements. And that ends my talk. Thank you. Thank you.